airsoft is a cool sport that is, for the most part, very, very safe when practiced correctly. Obviously, we all need to wear eye protection. That's very important. But one thing that gets overlooked a little bit more is face protection. And face protection is very important because you want to protect your teeth. The dental expenses are not fun. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather spend my money on some new kit or maybe a new pew, but I don't really want to spend my money on some fake teeth. That doesn't really sound fun. But I think probably the biggest reason why face protection gets so overlooked is because it can kind of look goofy for the most part, or it just doesn't really breathe well, or your communication is bad and you can't really talk through it, or it's just, there's a lot to it and it's kind of cumbersome, or it causes your goggles to fog like crazy. And kind of all these things are different things that I've been through and why I have ultimately just ended up running a paintball mask for the most part. But I am making the switch to a helmet setup, which I'm liking so much more. And there's a couple products there in place that are helping me to do that. One we'll talk about in a later video, but this is a big part of that also. So this is my DIY face protection that I've been running for the last little while. And it's just like a face wrap, neck wrap kind of thing. Um, goes over your, you know, your neck and then you pull it over your head kind of thing. And then right on my mouth, I've actually cut up a metal mesh face mask and I've sewn it into this um, to kind of give me some sort of mouth protection. So really the only thing that needs to be protected is protected and it works decently. Uh, it's very uncomfortable, very hot. Um, I find I can't really breathe through it super well and all of my air just goes right up into my mask and causes some fogging. So we have a solution. We have three different options from Cygnus Armory. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. I apologize if I did that wrong. But they are from Germany and they make some awesome, awesome face protection for airsoft that I am absolutely loving. I ran these last night and had a great time with them. Uh, so we've got three different options here. This one's like kind of more similar to what I've got here, my DIY solution, but it is built so much better <laughs> and I really do like it. Um, so it's kind of like a thicker material, offers more protection around your face, um, but then around your mouth, as we can see here, compared to my DIY solution here, it is a much comfier looking uh, system <laughs> it offers a lot more protection as well and breathability um, so it's kind of got some padding along here which is moldable really easy to bend into the shape that you like and uh, offers a ton of comfort right up against your face this thing after I ran this at a milsim for like 12 hours and it was not fun after a couple hours at all um, but this thing would be very comfortable um, so it's got tons of padding again and uh, really breathable professionally cut and mounted mesh faceplate there to protect your pearly whites. Uh, moving on, this one, at first I thought they were all just different material, but they're all actually different fits as well, which is really, really cool. So this one's like a lighter material here and offers a bit more breathability. The actual mask material is a, a bit more um, it's more like a, like a, it's more like a workout t-shirt, like a dry fit or something like that almost. Um, so it offers a ton of breathability and then it's actually got like a hood to it. Um, so you can pull that hood over your head. So it's not going to slip down on your head anytime throughout the day when you're getting hot and sweaty, you're running around, your helmet's moving back and forth. Uh, this is going to stay up all day, which I really, really like that. Um, but different material here, but same kind of uh, mesh faceplate here. So tons of uh, padding, it's really moldable and uh, offers protection for your teeth. Last one here, this one's probably my favorite. Um, so it's got the most breathability. This one's almost like a, like a penny that you would use for like playing sports in school. Uh, so very breathable, um, which I personally love. I am a toasty, sweaty dude and fogging is not my favorite thing whatsoever, but it's something that I have to deal with a lot. So the more amount of airflow I can get, the better. Um, so this one, ton of breathability, same metal mesh uh, faceplate same protection around the edges here, the padding. Um, but this one, really cool design. It's got like a little drawstring on the back. So you can put it on and then tighten it up right to your head so that it's not popping off or falling down. 
at any time. So I think this is like the coolest option, in my opinion, for uh, running face protection. You know, besides some crazy gas mask or something like that. But often, I play at a field that a lot of people do run gas masks and whatnot, um, but I kind of find it annoying because oftentimes people can't hear what I'm saying <laughs> through them, and they also, I can't hear a thing they're saying through them. And communication is such a vital part of Airsoft. Um, if you can't communicate with your team, you're kind of not doing so hot. Um, so this allows tons of communication through here. Uh, it doesn't muffle your voice whatsoever. And uh, it's really just, it honestly feels like you don't even have Mouth Pro on, which I love. Um, but it's nice to just have that. And I think it looks super cool too. Um, we all wanna look cool and be an operator. So I think this is a great solution for that and kind of the best solution that I've found. Um, I've tried tons of different face pro, mouth pro kind of things, and this is my favorite by far that I've found. Uh, it just works so well for me. Um, and also they offer gloves as well. I've been running mechanics gloves for the last forever, and uh, it's nice to have some fresh gloves because I've sweat in those gloves like crazy. And uh, yeah, these gloves are definitely a different design, which I like, and I'm getting used to it and really enjoying it. Um, but they've got tons of grip here on the hand, uh, nice like rubber rubber hexagons on here that uh, allow you to grip your gun really well. I usually cut off the fingers on my gloves. Um, I just find I have more dexterity that way and I still might do that on these, but I'm actually finding it's fine without it. Um, the only thing that I had to take them off for was my shoelace got untied when I was out on the field and I had to retie it, so for that, I did have to uh, take off the gloves. But everything else, I was able to do with the gloves on, which is super cool. Love the color, and uh, yeah, got some nice protection on the knuckles, so you don't get shot in your, um, your, your fingies, the tendies. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I got shot here last night, and it should have hurt a lot more. Um, but yeah, it's feeling pretty good. But yeah, they've got some really nice protection bits. Uh, on their website, so if you're interested in something like this, definitely go check them out. Um, these are kind of some great things to have that often ne get neglected by a lot of people. Everyone wants just a new gun to try out, you know, that sort of thing, but it's really good to invest in the gear. I really only use one or two guns um, out of all the guns that I've got. <laughs> so find a gun that you like, run with it, and invest in some quality protection gear. It's totally worth it. Uh, iPro definitely being the most important, but I would say your mouth is kind of your next most important thing and having good grip on your gun and whatnot is also super important as well and having that hand protection is nice also. So um, yeah, these are some great products from Cygnus Armory. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, again, my apologies if I said that wrong. Um, but uh, yeah, big shout out to them uh, for sending these over and uh, allowing me to do a video on it. So uh, my DIY solution will be thrown in the garbage <laughs> because I've got a new love in my life. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.